force multipliers or speed and displacement multipliers. Let's learn physics. So here we have a simple, basic lever system. And you can set this thing up to move the fulcrum from one location to another and, and move this thing back and forth where you're attaching the, the weight. And the force applied by the lever to cause that thing to lift is going to be the output force. So I push down over here and it pushes up over there and that's the output force. This force that I apply is going to be the input force. I apply the input and the machine applies the output force. And lever arms, le lever arm, this is a lever arm from the fulcrum to the point of application of the, of, of the force. It's an output lever arm. And here, when I push down, this is the input lever arm. Input displacement, the actual distance that my hand travels. And it's an arc, so the distance that my hand travels, that is the input distance or displacement. And this, the distance that this moves, actually in an arc again, is the output displacement. Now because it's on an arc and it's, this is portions of a circle and all circles are similar circles, kind of like similar triangles, when you push down over here, you can effectively just measure the difference in height here and the difference in height here for the output versus input displacement. Shorten up the output lever arm and I can just take this and Oh yeah, that's really simple. So here, this thing, this, that's a, what I like to call a force multiplier. Small input force, large output force. And it changes direction also. So you're pushing down and it's pushing up. But it's also a speed and displacement divider, necessarily. If it multiplies one thing, it's going to divide the other thing. Notice that I have to apply that small force over a large displacement, and I get a large force out, but over a small displacement. The two are pretty close to the same size, input versus output work. And this, this force multiplier, which is a speed and displacement divider, has a mechanical advantage that is greater than 1. Like 2, 3, 4, 7, 12, something like that. But sometimes you want things to go quickly, right? So you want something to, to move, switch it, just switch the input and the output. Here, it moves. This moves much more quickly than this one does, but I have to apply a huge force over here to get that thing to move. My hand's all the way all out at the end. If I apply a force here, huge amounts of force necessary to lift that, but if I were to just remove it, it moves really, really quickly. This end over here where you're applying the output force, small output force versus a large input force. So it's a force divider, but it's a speed multiplier, and sometimes you want the speed multiplier. Totally exactly what you want, because these things right here, the arms that you have, and the legs that you have, and all the... the that those are speed and displacement multipliers. Your muscles are capable of huge forces, and those muscles that are capable of large forces are only capable of contracting over short distances, but you get, okay, so the, see the pivot and the elbow? The elbow and the force out here, which is the tricep, and the force in here, which is the bicep, 
and you, you have the, you have the small, relatively small force that is applied out here for a large force that's applied at the attachment point, which is at the small lever. On. And that big excavator, the that thing, that is a counterintuitive. It's not a force multiplier. It is a speed, really a displacement multiplier because you're taking huge muscles, the hydraulic muscles that are all attached to different points, and you're moving dirt a, a large distance and doing that with it. And for something like this, when your input force over here is applied over a small distance, but you get, you know, small output force with over that large distance, that mechanical advantage is less than one. As in one half, one third, one quarter, one seventh, 0 0.32, 0 0.57. One. And that one is the break-even point where you have the, this is like the teeter-totter, the regular teeter-totter with people about the same size, and you have this one, mechanical advantage of one, same lever arm on the, same, on the two different sides, and as long as there isn't friction, whatever output force is being applied is the same size as the input force, and the output displacement is the same size as the input displacement. That's a mechanical advantage of one. Sometimes you want to just change the direction because you see that you push down on this and that lever pulls up. That's a direction changer or maybe a force extender. So force extender, direction changer. But you do this, that, that is a mechanical advantage that is less than one because you see that that moves a whole lot more. Displacement, speed multiplier. Uh, like one fourth. Then, if you do something like this, this easy to do, that is a force multiplier, and you can tell because it is necessarily a displacement divider large input displacement, small output displacement.